Ooh, that looks tasty. Welcome, folks. Today, the Hungry Gamer is back with another unboxing, and today we are unboxing Valor and Villainy Minions of Mordak, designed by James Van Niekerk, and hopefully I said that correctly, and then published by Skybound Games. Now, this is a Kickstarter that I backed, I don't know, a while ago, and kind of promptly forgot about. And I'd love to play it, but it's two to six players only right now. But I will say that for the most part, Skybound Games has some of the top production out there usually. So I do kind of want to see what's inside. Now, I did not get the deluxe version. I just got the base version with the standees because, well, this was before I started painting miniatures and stuff. And if I went back to do it all over again, I might have gotten the one with the minis because the minis do look very good. I have seen them, but let's just take a look here. And like I said, I don't actually remember how the game works. I know you're traveling around, exploring this land, and it's a one versus many game where Mordak's trying to kill all the heroes. The heroes are trying to kill Mordak, and you do quests maybe, and you upgrade your dice, and uh, you roll a lot of dice. I know that, and I like rolling dice. Anyhow, let's take a look inside. Okay, here we go. Now, one of the things I enjoyed about the Kickstarter campaign, well, I like this art. I, I like the characters that they developed, and I I'm hoping that the story beats that they had added into the game kind of carry into the campaign, I should say, kind of carry through into the game itself. But we shall see. All right, here we go. We got our rule book. And if anyone out there also has this and is developing a solo variant, please do let me know. But here we go. Wow, it's kind of oh, it's kind of a long rule book. Oh, but it does have a lot of a lot of art in there. You know, it's, wow, looks nice. Ooh, oh, it's got a little bit of lore. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. And I will, I will certainly read through this because I did enjoy the story beats that were in the campaign. It's kind of got a, a bit of a tongue-in-cheek vibe to it, which I appreciate. And I really hope comes through in the gameplay because if that comes through in the gameplay, that'll be great. Whoa, these are big. Wow, I was not. I don't think I was expecting the game to be this big. And don't know what that one is, but that just fell off. So it's a nice. Ooh, that's a bummer. So the art, the art is good. I mean, the art's almost always good at Skybound games, but the art is good. It's good thickness on this. As far as a cardboard tile goes, that's pretty darn good. Over here, we got uh, one of our standees, I guess that is. And again, good thickness. I'll just punch out one of these small tokens as well. Yeah, these, these are all fine. These are all fine. Good quality. Not 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 brilliant quality. It's not the super, super, super thick stuff like you get at Eagle Griffin, which are insanely thick. But this is nice. Kind of flip over, look at it. Yeah, this is a much bigger game than I was anticipating based on the size of these tiles here. Let's look at some of these here. Yeah, very, very cool. Yeah, very cool. Gosh, I really hope that the story comes through on this because I just really enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll zoom in on a couple of these characters here so we can take a look. And one of the things I appreciated about it is there is a good gender balance. It might, it might be 50-50, the gender balance. I'm not sure. And Skybound, I know, does have a dedication to having some diversity. And then even beyond this, I appreciate that there's orc heroes and goblin heroes and stuff like that, which is not necessarily diversity, but just as far as fantasy goes, I do appreciate that. And we'll kind of flip through the rest of these here. Oh, got some stuff falling out. Huh. Well, these are interesting, kind of the bizarre double tokens there. No idea what they are. But anyhow, moving on, let's take a look. What else we got here? And you see it's a solid insert there. I know the deluxe version had the, the game trays and something very fancy. All right, dice. Look at that. They roll. Oh, pretty good dice. Kind of got the inlay or whatever that's called there. Different colors, lots of them, feel good, wonderful. Now let's check out these character boards here. Now I do appreciate that these are double layered boards and you can inlay your tokens as you go. So I'll just kind of punch one out there. As you go and you kind of build up, you just get to kind of drop more tokens on in there for the dice that you get. That's nice. Oh wow, ooh wow, those actually, <laughs> those really stick in there. Oh, there we go. Yep. A little more information about the characters on the back. It's kind of rude, evil wizard. He's, maybe he's just misunderstood. 
We don't even know. And then we got the others here, the rogue, the paladin, the ranger, their trusty horse, Scrut the barbarian, one of my favorites, Amos the cleric, who I really like his art. He looks cool. Alindra the mage, and Bjorn the fighter. Ah, and the goblin bard, love it. Baggies, that's what I'm talking about. I love the baggies. And then we got left, all we got are a couple stacks of cards here. All right, well, let's take a look at a couple of these. These are abilities and chests and stuff, so I'll open those up. And we got character cards, maybe? Or events, or I don't know, something. All right, let's take a look here. And so the cards, well, the cards feel pretty good. These are pretty good quality cards, I gotta say. They feel nice. And we kind of take a look at some of the stuff here. And again, I, I don't have the foggiest as to what any of this is. I think these are things that you fight, maybe, as you go through. Villains, perhaps. And again, <laughs> I do like the art. There's, they're double-sided. I don't know what the two sides mean. I don't know. I don't know anything. So pretty useless so far. But yeah, so the, the, yeah, these must be the bad guys. And uh, I think that's your trusty horse, I think. Oh, we got round cards here. Great. Villain turns. Oh, wow. Got all the rules right there. It can't be all the rules, but that'd be neat if it was. And some loot stuff. Okay, great. That's that stack of cards. And over here, we have some more here. I'll just kind of flip through. Yeah, these just look like more things you can fight or deal with. Don't quite know. Hmm, a door, maybe? I don't know what that is. Flip through, see if there's anything else in here. Yeah, these all just look like bad guys and stuff to fight. Great. Then we have some abilities or treasures or whatever these things are that you can pick up. And as a just kind of flip through some of these here. Yeah, so you get the idea what those look like. I'm just assuming these are all mostly the same type of stuff. Again, these little cards that they feel good. It's nice feeling cards. They're thick. Feel sturdy. Okay, those are those. And it looks like there's enough space to put everything in sleeved if you really wanted to. Which, I, unless I have to shuffle these things over and over and over each game, I'm not a sleever. But it's nice to know I could be if I wanted. These look like items you can get. Yeah, looks nice. Okay, so anyhow, that is Valor and Villainy. This is a game that I was certainly excited about. When I backed it, I've promptly forgotten about it, and due to the pandemic, I don't know when I will get to play it. But there it is. Looks cool. It's a good production. And again, this is just the, the base core game. I didn't get any of the deluxe tokens or the minis or anything like that. So there you have it, folks. That is Valor and Villainy, Minions of Mordak, the unboxing. And at some point, if people seem interested, I will review it. And if people don't seem interested, well, I'll just play it. Thank you all so very much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.